Hey, what's up, you guys? It is Wednesday, November 9th, 2.47 in the afternoon. I'm on East Coast time. I had my Skype with Judah this afternoon. I'm also 12 weeks post-op today. I'm so stoked. Like Judah said, like 12 weeks is really a milestone, and I feel good. I'm going back to work tomorrow, first time since July, because I got COVID, and I got COVID again, and I got rescheduled. Haven't worked in four months. I'm mentally ready to go back, socially ready to go back. I'm stoked. Uh, I want it to be a surprise to a couple of my like specific coworkers. I only told two of them. And then the one that I wanted to surprise, she texted me today and she said, why didn't you tell me you're coming back? The doctor that I work for actually announced it to everyone. Like they're stoked, but also I was stealth to many people at this job. And then towards the end, as I was getting friendlier with people, I came out to them as trans, and then eventually to an even smaller population as having, gonna have fallow. Yeah, you need social support. I felt like being honest. Um, it was great having their support. So if you're watching this, thank you. But the whole office knows, like 70 people. And while my anxiety was at like an 80-20, where I was more like, oh God, like they all know what's going on. Like A, they know trans, and B, that I had bottom surgery. Which can be, you know, like, a, it, it's easy to put this shit on the internet and then forget about it. And, you know, I know a lot of people see it, but, like, to actually go to a place in person, it's just a lot. But knowing that they know, knowing that they don't care, they love me, they're excited to have me back, and they've all been talking about me. She's like, everyone's talking about you. She's like, but honestly, no one has said one bad thing. She's like, they're excited for you to come back. They all watch your videos. They like your daily dongs. You know, so they're just concerned for my well-being. So I am trans. I'm living my truth. I'm being authentic as possible. So it's kind of cool they know. And it's nice that they can support me and walk this journey with me. So I talked to Judah. My pee stream is really slow. Like, I drove up to Jacksonville. It's about a 45-minute drive. I'd say it was, like, kind of slightly urgent. Took two and a half frustrating minutes to empty my bladder. Sitting, I can hardly get anything in out at all. My dog wants to come in. Uh, Okay. All right. Now, hopefully, they won't be making the noise outside. Thank you. He always goes to my ground. Okay. So, I sit. Um, I guess there's some kind of pressure or whatever that it puts on my bladder, and I cannot empty it completely. Get in the bed, baby. Get in the bed, Max. Come on, Max. All right. Okay. He don't want to listen right now talked to Judah. He gave me some ideas. There's a lot of things specific to my case, but basically it seems like it might be a stricture or I've just narrowed to this point. If it is a stricture, I have the option of two surgeries. There's one that's like a lesser surgery and one that's a more involved two-stage surgery. I'm not going to get too much into it. If I do indeed have to have a stricture surgery, I will have to have it before my stage two. So I'll have to hold off on testicular implants in my pump. I did ask him about phasing out stage two so instead of getting pump and implants at the same time getting implants first creating space in the scrotal sac and then doing a pump he says that is not uncommon to stage it that way if you have a smaller sac like i do dr santucci prefers it i don't know i, I just i skype with you today to not only talk about my possible stricture and urinary stuff but to kind of narrow my questions down for dr santucci so when i speak to dr santucci next month I will further ask him about staging it out, what he sees. Judah says there's not really big difference in complication rates between staging it out and not, but there is a big complication rate with stage two. It's just high. I knew that, but he confirmed it's definitely, it's high. Also, he said, I'm gonna have to be in Austin for two to three weeks. Dr. DeLeon said, you really only need one, but Dr. Santucci prefers two. I fell in love with Austin. Two weeks sounded great. But when he said, I said, well, do people stay three? He said, oh, yeah, yeah. I would recommend it so you can get another post-op visit in. So I will probably stay three because I love Austin. It was fun. And I might be able to work out a different caregiving situation than my mom. She wants to come, and she'll come again if she can, God willing. It was a really special time for us. Uh, side note, might be working on a film for that. Been in touch with my college professor and... It's just cool. Got a lot of good things going on. But basically, had a lot. I took quite a few notes. But we have ruled out a UTI. I don't have a fever or anything. It's probably not swelling. It's either I have scarred to the point I'm going to scar to, and I'm just going to have a really slow stream 
and that's something they can most likely address in my stage two, or I am stricturing down and I need to get this taken care of. He, he said it would be prudent to get a cytoscopy, and I, I don't want to, it's a thing shoved up your dick, but he says it's not as bad as it seems. A lot of times you're under anesthesia, but he said he was awake when he had his. So I contacted a urologist that my PCP had recommended as well as Dr. Santucci. And so they said in order for me to schedule with him, I needed records from both the Crane Center and then my regular doctor. So I called both of them immediately, I already signed the release from Crane, so Crane Center is already on it. Left a message for my doctor's nurse to get back to me about that because I wanna get that done as soon as possible. Ideally, I'd like to have this cytoscopy done before I talk to Dr. Santucci on December 9th, because it would be super helpful for him to be able to see it. But with how medicine works, it's gonna be diff difficult. My dogs are having a moment. Well, y'all, why were you? She was admonishing him. So you know how medicine works. Plus it's through the University of Florida. It's in Gainesville. I'll have to travel, but it makes me feel better to establish care with the urologist, even if it ends up being nothing, just because I don't like how long this has taken me to pee. And so not being able to avoid freaks me out. Like if it slowed to a dribble, I would not be able to mentally handle that though. If I have to have a catheter, I have to have a catheter. I will update you more after my consult with Dr. Santucci. I have all these notes, but many of them are just very specific to me. I asked if Dr. Santucci would do my glands plasty or if it would be Dr. De Leon, because I would like Dr. De Leon to do it just because I love the way she did my glands. But if it had to be Dr. Santucci, by all means, totally awesome. He's an amazing surgeon too. They said I could request a co-case. Doesn't always happen, but it doesn't hurt to try. I also am totally fine just having Dr. Santucci do it. I'm stoked to talk to him. Hopefully your UF, University of Florida Urology, gets back to me. And hopefully I don't have to wait too long for the cytoscopy. Yeah, I might have to wait till the new year. It's crazy to think like... Thanksgiving is two weeks from tomorrow, I believe. And then I talk to Dr. De Leon next Thursday, I believe. It's November 17th, either way. Yeah, I'm stoked to go back to work tomorrow. It's time. It'll be good. The money will be good. I need money. Right, Max. I don't need all this time in my head. Although, I am so proud of myself for how I've handled this. I've only had a few times where I was really down. And then... I've reached times where I've been in a little funk, but I've brought myself out of it, used healthy coping mechanisms, and just, I don't know, I feel like a totally new person. Yeah, I feel great. I'm on top of stuff, taking care of it, because I do not want a stricture. But yeah, 12 weeks, I feel happy. I feel good. I think the dogs and I are going to watch a movie and do some cuddling, because we're currently technically getting hit by a tropical storm. Winds are about 20, at 20 miles per hour. And, uh, yeah, Nicole came out of nowhere, so it should be fun. All right. That's, that's the 12-week update. Peace, you guys. Thanks for all your support.